and welcome to my channel, Little Acres Creations. I am Shell, and today we are making another washi tape card. This one's a little bit different than the last one I made, and all I'm doing right now is I am cutting an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper down the center at four and a quarter, and then I have my card base to the left, and then I also cut. The rest of it, I just cut it in half because we're going to use one of those panels to complete our card. So I am doing the same thing I did in the last video and that I put some ATG gun, some of that glue down. And I'm using some bright and cheerful like birthday uh, washi tape. I thought this would make such a cute card. You can make it for a birthday. You know for a celebration of some sort I thought that would be really cute so I'm going to just put that all down On these cards, I'm using some dies that I picked up from Avriel, and that's the fun thing about the, these washi tape cards is like the last time I used an edge like punch, and this time I'm just going to use some dies. And you can do this with any type of die. You can do it the same way we did on the previous video, and I will put a link at the end of this video so you can go back and see the last video I did. So if you want to use like a, an edge punch. So that one piece of paper that we cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, I'm just going to position my die so that I get like a, just a wavy edge. And I really like this die because it has post stitching and stuff on it and I really like that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut that out and then I'll be right back. And I picked out a sentiment from the stamp set from the pack and which is available at Little Acres Creations. And I am just using a note for you. So I'm using just a line of words so that I can kind of manipulate it, manipulate the stamp so it kind of mimics the curve on my card. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to stamp that using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and then we will be right back and we will put our card together. And this ink takes a little bit longer to dry, so I'm just being careful not to touch the ink. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foam tape on the card base with the washi tape. And I'm just going to spread it out and just bring it down enough so that it covers every inch pretty good on the bottom of my card base. So I'm going to pop that on there and that completes our card. Now I did make another card using a die that has a scallop edge and I think that would be beautiful for like just a friend for like maybe an invitation or something like that. 
Be sure and subscribe. You can do that by just clicking on my face at the end of this video and hit that bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. Thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.